Hi everyone, welcome to another session of Dream Time with Danielle, and that's me. We took a little time off, we took a little nap time, we had a few dreams, and here we are, back with our fresh and ready to be drawn on chalkboard, all aboard the chalkboard train, woot woot. So something exciting, we're at the very end of this journal. I mean, clearly I started using this journal a long time ago. First entry is from <laughs> 2010. But recently I've been using it for my dreams because this is what I do. I hop back and forth for journals and we are finishing it out. So let's finish it out with this dream. Are you ready? Of course you are. I dreamt about Will Smith in a Space Jam t-shirt. We talk about our inner child and the need for maturity and keeping both those needs fed. And that's the dream. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to draw Will Smith. Here we go. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and shooting some b-ball outside of school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got a one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Ha ha! He's got big eyes. He's got big eyes. And I guess there's his brows. That's his hairline. Also, he's got like facial hair these days. Let's give him arms. His arms go off the page, okay? Just like the rest of his torso. How you doing, Will? I guess I made your head a little tiny in comparison to your body. I'm working on proportions, what can I say? So, Will Smith. Will Smith, the freshest of princes. Let's dig in. To dream of Will Smith has so much symbolism because he has so much symbolism in society well, we're already saying the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, so Prince, I'm gonna write that down. Prince-like. He is someone that we were raised with, right? He's been around since the, well, I mean, to me since the 90s, but he had a rapping career before he had an acting career, before he had a movie career, so he has spanned generations. Also, he's wearing a Space Jam t-shirt and he was not in that movie that was absolutely That's okay, he can rep Space Jam. And we talk about our inner child. Like there we were just discussing the importance of our inner child and the importance of maturity and how they go hand in hand. And you cannot starve one. You cannot starve one without starving the other. They each need attention. They each need focus. They each need you. Well, I guess I'm talking to myself right now. So they each need me. What exactly do we say? They both need to be fed. That's what I wrote down. We have to feed them all. So we all have an inner dialogue. And what is that inner dialogue like for you? What's it like for me? It goes back and forth. Sometimes I'm really nice to myself. Sometimes I'm like, bitch, did I really just say that to myself? Would I say that to any of my friends? Why am I saying it to me? I have a terrible inner critic that I'm working on. So not feeding the inner critic, importante. Or, you know, sending the inner critic away on a permanent vacation elsewhere. And then the need for maturity. There's a lot of territory when we're growing up. And we're always growing up, always. Even when we are adults, we're learning new things. We're always in new phases of our lives. Always these phases of our lives come with new territory, new experiences new friends, new properties, new responsibilities. And learning how to keep up with that and learning what these responsibilities are is part of being human. So thanks, Will Smith. And now a Space Jam t-shirt. Literally Space Jam, they had to save the world through a game of basketball from aliens that wanted to enslave everyone in the universe. Now, there is pretty high stakes these days, pretty high stakes in America alone, but all over the world. It's not just us. It's not just us, but it feels like it's our personal responsibility to save the world all on our own. 
And I think it's really important what Dream Will Smith said here. It's important to keep our inner child fed and our responsibilities fed. You can't gorge on the traumatic events that are happening every single day outside. And they are traumatic and they are every single day. But there are other things happening and it's important to establish boundaries. There has to be a max out point where you're just like enough is enough. Well, Smith and I are gonna go play a game of b-ball. Save the world by saving our inner child. And then I can go back to my responsibilities. Space Jam. Space Jam. Who's your favorite Looney Tune? I was always a Bugs Bunny fan. He always could outwit anyone. Although when I was a kid, I had a Daffy Duck, a stuffed Daffy Duck. I won him in a prize. Well, he was a prize. He was a real prize. Point of this. What are your favorite Looney Tunes? Do they live within you? Do they come to your mind every now and then? Tap into that. Tap into that. I guess I should take my own advice. Will, we have to go do some stuff. I like how I shaded his beard, but not like his hair. Let's see. Let's just do it now. Let's see what happens. I don't know if that's better or worse. Will Smith is with us all. Good, we really need him right now. To save the world! And save your world. Generations. Generations. We were talking about the inner child, we were talking about adulthood and responsibilities, and that does span generations, doesn't it? Each generation has its own responsibility that is uniquely different from the prior and the following generations. But if Will Smith taught me anything, that you have to have fun along the way. Oh, space. He was also in the Men in Black, MIB, which almost looks like the BLM Black Lives Matter initials. Black Lives Matter, say it. Seems that Will Smith has saved the world many times in his movies, and he's reminding us how we can save ourselves every single day. Well, guys, if you have a dream that you'd like me to look into, share, explore the symbolism, send it to me my way. Information's down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Dream time with Danielle. That's me. I also enjoyed Porky Pig. <laughs>